Okay, this is a quick comparison between the uh, Roland GM70 and the Ibanez MC1. Uh, both units are very similar. They came out uh, on the market about the same time, I think 1986 or 1987. And they're good examples of the first generation of uh, guitar pitch to MIDI converters. Uh, the two units uh, do their job very well. The Ibanez seems to be slightly faster in my test uh, uh, than the uh, Roland GM70. And outside of just converting pitch to MIDI, uh, the way the units work, the general philosophy seems to be very different. In the case of the Roland GM70, you have a lot of flexibility as far as assigning continuous MIDI controllers. You can make a knob on the guitar do just about anything that you want it to do. Uh, whereas on the um, MC1, at least the first two main control knobs, their function is fixed. One of them controls the uh, sensitivity of the guitar to how you pick. When will a note sound? How hard do you have to play in order to initiate hearing a note? And then the, the other knob is set to control the uh, dynamic range. So with, with no dynamic range, regardless of how hard or how soft you play, the notes all sound the same. Whereas with the wide dynamic range, you get uh, notes from very soft to very loud. And that's continuously variable. So a very different philosophy. The MC1 sort of geared towards having the player continuously uh, adjust the uh, response of the instrument to uh, uh, his or her playing. And the GM70 geared more towards being an all-around uh, MIDI controller system. And I'll tell you, the, the Ibanez Xing IMG 2010 guitar, which is the only guitar that supports all the possible MIDI controller destinations uh, um, for the GM70, uh, the Xing uh, IMG 2010 guitar with the GM70 remains the most flexible, the most versatile uh, guitar uh, MIDI controller system that anyone has ever made, uh, period. And a very nice system. So uh, first we'll uh, look at uh, how the uh, MC1 works, and then we'll uh, look at uh, assigning some controls to the GM70.